Okay. How you doing, John? Okay, here we go. When the clock strikes, day two. Uh, has the clock struck yet? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's day two. Hold on. It's day I've two. Got, I've got, I've got a digital. Yes, it's no striking at all. It's, it's Hold on. you know, it doesn't really lend itself to dra- drama. Sorry. A what? perfect time to introduce this week's sad letters. Is it Letter. the same? Well, it is the same. Well, my one starts, Dear Dredgeland. What does yours start with? Dear Dredge. Right. Land. Oh, land. Yeah, it's a gap, isn't it? There is a gap you've got, there. You've got, you've got to allow for the gap. So we're reading uh, essentially the same letter, which she sent to both of us uh, to make this feature easier. And, and more relevant. Yeah, that oh, is relevant. Otherwise, it's just me reading you a letter. You could try that. Well, well, I don't need to. But I've got one as well, the same one. <laughs> You've got the same, same one as well. Mine's got writing on the on the front and rear. Yours is yours is hole punched. I like the fact Deirdre used a different piece of paper. Maybe she ran out of that paper and started to use yours. Give her credit. You know, she thought she'd have more of a chance of getting on this if she wrote us two letters. Well, a letter each contained the same sorrow and or devastation well, devastation and that is what we're interested in thank you very much deirdre dear dredgeland <laughs> it's just something to cheer you all up isn't it it's a bit it's a bit of cheer in these bleak times it's time once again for this week's sad letter thank you deirdre for sending us both the same letter so it's easier for us dear dredgeland over to you john uh, <laughs> I better not move, had I? Because my my head becomes all white. That's okay. I won't tell the uh, authorities. Dear Dredgeland. Dear Dredgeland, it says. Uh, my <laughs> can, can you all do it's that just... at home? If you've got a letter at home, please raise it. Raise it and, <laughs> and put a sense of community during these tough times. Thank you for that additional comment. Dear Dredgeland, over to you. Okay. Uh, my name is Deirdre. I have uh, written you and Andy Harland a sad letter. I thought I would write you both the same letter to increase my chances of getting on. Well, you've done it. Well done. She has achieved that. Granted, we have no other letters, but they may appear. Dear uh, Dredgeland, I have, I have written this letter to you to tell you my sad story. Over to you, Andy. Thanks very much, John. Deirdre goes on to write uh, to tell you my sad story. That's, I'm, just, I'm just referencing what you just read. Nicely uh, done. It, thank you. Deirdre goes on to write. Um, it was on the 15th of June last year. I started to write this letter, but due to a pen strike, I couldn't finish it until last week. Over to you, John. It concerns my... The the time... I can't read this properly, actually. She shouldn't have written it in crayon. She says... uh, It was... I can't... Can you read yours? Well, it's a crayon, John, because of the pen strike. I mean, it's uh, yeah. it's not it's not the easiest it's not. to read. She says, um, "I'm writing to you about the time I met my beloved husband, Boris. Boris Glonge, 49 Acacia Avenue. We don't need the whole address, do we? SE 22, 3NB." Sorry, no, think, no, no we don't. You, think you do need the whole address. I, I did. I mean, carry on. It says telephone number <laughs> 078. All the four. fours. I yeah. don't think we need the telephone number, though. 6363, so. Okay. Well, she says, I met him one summer day in Frinton. That's nice. I've never been. He was, he was walking along... Uh, the cliff edge and I thought 
I'm going to marry that man. Sounds quite romantic so far. Unfortunately, at that point, he fell off the cliff, never to be seen again. Please, could you play a record for him? <laughs> as, right. it's, as it's 43 and a half years <laughs> since, since this tragic event. Well, well, Deirdre, thanks for getting in touch. I mean, all we can all we can do for you is suggest that um, just let us know what his favourite record was. <laughs> thanks very much for your call. I mean, so you go. That's another one dealt with. She left that out. She did, and details matter, people. <laughs> it's no good writing us both the same letter and leaving that out, is it? It's a, it's a key. It's a key issue, Deirdre. Ah, oh, just just ah. Oh. And on that dramatic note, we say Thank goodbye you. and merry and goodbye. They th the time is still irrelevant. What? The time is still irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. But what is the time? Exactly. <laughs> Good night. Goodbye. On that mysterious Bye, Bye John. See you later, John. I'm going. Just going to change the clocks. I'm going. <laughs>